tell you the importance of dummy rope and while becoming a team roper. Whenever you're starting to rope, you need to get a dummy to practice on. Uh, they sell dummies. If you're a header, they'll sell just a, a plastic head at any local feed store or tractor supply or something like that. You can go and buy you a bale of hay in that plastic head, and it's got prongs that stick into the hay. And so you just you mount your, your plastic head on your bale of hay, and you can practice roping all day long right there on that dummy. And that's, that's the best practice in the world. They say if you can rope the dummy 100 times in a row without missing, then you're ready to get on a horse. So uh, the practice makes perfect on that deal. And, the, and they also have healing dummies. Uh, you can use a saw horse and just work on getting your trap under there and, and making the bottom strand be on the ground firm and, and the top strand be laying high across the... You want the back strand of the rope to lay across the, the right above the back knees of the, of the steer. So uh, you can just get a saw horse and practice that. They also sell uh, robo steers and all kinds of electric steers you can drag behind four wheelers and and uh, they have robotic steers that you can work with a remote control that will kick the back feet and run down the pin just like a normal steer would. So just depending on how much money you want to spend is how good of a dummy you're going to get to practice on. But um, the cheaper dummies work just as well usually. It's just uh, the, the electric dummies and the robot dummies help your horse as well. So uh, dummy roping is definitely the most important part of team roping though. So maybe those tips will help you get started.